Hey guys, what's happening? So, in my ongoing quest to improve the uh, print quality of my 3D printer, um, I decided to give these things a shot. I saw them a, a few months ago on uh, Amazon, and in a previous video I had done a solid coupler for my uh, 3D printer here. And I have a small issue with like uh, ribbing, and I feel like it's maybe doing it because of the, the spring action. Uh, whereas the salt coupler seemed like it made the, uh, the the issue worse, whereas this one actually doesn't have the same flex. It, it can actually move. So if your if your if your Z rod lead screw is not in alignment, it can flex this way and that way. Um, but I'm trying to get rid of this the spring action, you know. So I want to make this as rigid as possible without you know messing things up too much. But it's only 13 bucks, so I thought I'd give them a shot. So I'm going to do a uh, before print here, and we'll do an after print. But uh, I'm going to do a calibration cube right now so we can see if there's any improvement. Uh, I'm actually doing several upgrades to this printer. I'm actually going to, there's actually a little reflex in here, just a little bit. So I reprinted my uh, Z, uh, Z motors in 100%, you know, infill to make it a little bit more sturdy and rigid. And uh, I reprinted this. They had a new version of these things out. So... Uh, I'm not going to test it with the more rigid stuff on there because I want to have a more accurate test. So I'm just going to replace these things. We'll do a quick print calibration cube and we'll come back and see if these made any difference. Right, there's the uh, first print right there. Got a little messed up on the bottom. But, yeah, see it's not really 100% tight. Um, yeah, like I have another printer that prints incredible, like this uh, my printer bot. I'll take a look at that. See the texture of that? See the texture of that? Put that in the light. See that texture? That's like perfect. That's my printer bot. That print right there. That's the texture of this. See that? Incredible, yeah, man. So that's actually what I'm trying to see. See the little lines right there? Right there. There's a couple lines on there. Yeah, it's just inconsistent, so it's kind of driving me crazy. Alright. I also noticed that this thing is not dimensionally 100% accurate either. Yeah, I have some, some play in there. That's 20 millimeter. This is supposed to be 20 millimeter. So I still got to mess around with my E-steps too. Yeah, I printed out some the other day, like an M3 uh, spacer. One of these. And it was actually perfect on my printer bot. That thing's totally dialed in, but this thing was actually kind of small on my uh, larger printer. So I have a few different things going on with this thing, but uh, you can clearly see the ribbing though. So all right, all right, there they are. So let's do another print real fast. My calibration cube. Yes. All right, do another cube, and we'll see what happens. Alright, there it is. My after test print. Let's compare the two. Um, the banding and the ribbing definitely seems improved. Just the quality here and there seems better. Um, right angle here, right X, Y. That's the Y side. It definitely appears to be approved here on the top. Here. See that like little line right there, that little band right there? Right there, there's a line that goes across. The line is definitely reduced on this uh, new block here. Yeah, I, didn't, I forgot to do a uh, brim. That's why I didn't. Do right on that one, but yeah, it definitely seems to be improvement. Whereas the solid block seemed like it was a downgrade when I had a solid coupler on there. Um, 
Alright, but I got other major issues I gotta deal with. Maybe like dimensional accuracy things, but also I'm getting a lot of ghosts in here, so uh, that's jerk. But I don't know. Yeah, this side definitely seems better for sure. Alright guys, cool. Well, I think it's an improvement, so I think I'm gonna keep them. Alright.